Hello everybody, today I'm here with the flying team and basically we're looking for anybody who's just in a constant state of flying. Um, this was suggested to me by Wan Shahul and the best WMS Haking MY. Uh, I definitely mispronounced at least part of that. But thank you for the suggestion nonetheless. And Surprisingly, there aren't that many characters that really um, qualify for the team. I was kind of surprised. And some of these are better than others, I think. The one person that the original comment suggested that I'm not bringing in is um, Genie. And I really don't have a good reason for it. I kind of just pre uh, preferred everybody else over Genie, so... Uh, he's the only really other flying character that I'm not including here. So let's see, Syndrome's a good one. He's very clearly flying. And some characters have like moves that uh, include that kind of thing. Like, um, what's his name? I can't think of it. The Rocketeer, that's what I was thinking of. Because he's got the jetpack. But it really doesn't do all that much flying. I'm trying to find Peter. P oh, yeah, and then I see the other one as well. I really don't like his victory. Animation. I've always disliked this victory animation. <laughs> okay. And then Cheshire Cat is the final one. If Genie was going to be in here, I would definitely take out Cheshire Cat. He's almost floating more than flying, but uh, I guess some characters are kind of like that too. Um, I guess a good amount of them are just floating, but... Whatever. Most of the characters have a way to like zoom across the screen as well, which is a nice addition to that. And it feeds into that flying motif. I'm guessing none of them are on my... Oh, a Syndrome is. That's cool. I guess I could have missed one, but I went through like the whole roster and I'm pretty sure I found all the ones that are always flying. Flying. Okay, so it was pretty far down. We've got Mary up first, and then Eve not far after. I already got Syndrome. Okay, so here they all are. Um, I like just like the shadows, the uh, five. Uh, kind of like dark spots underneath them. I don't know, it's uh, it's cool to see them all wriggling around like this because they're bobbing up and down and they're on like at different speeds as well. Mary's really got the best of it. Her cape is flapping in the wind. It's great. Yeah, I think Mary and Syndrome are the best. The others are kind of just floating almost. Those two are actually flying. Okay, so I don't know if they're going to be good in any way, but let's see. We've already got Peter Pan down. Oh, we are fighting Shank. As Patrick likes to say, if the team beat Shank, they got to be good. And this team is clearly not. <laughs> Mary might kill. Guess not. Off to a great start. Let's um, do a different one, I suppose. So Peter Pan's kind of our frontline guy. He uses his dagger and actually stabs people. And everyone else is kind of hanging in the back. For some reason, if you're flying, you're incapable of moving around. <laughs> Cheshire Cat kind of teleports in and out of uh, 
the enemy area, but um, doesn't really not really flying. He's actually on the ground when he gets near them, so. Yeah, it is, it is funny that most of them are ranged. I didn't think about that. Genie is ranged too, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, that one Mary move where she zooms across on her vacuum is pretty cool. Let's do this one. We've got two flying enemies here as well. Sally's kind of ruining it, but... Like I said before, the shadows are nice. Like, it's very obvious, I think, when they're all floating and you just see the shadow on the ground. Not a lot of status effects going on. We don't really have a support character in the mix. I'm guessing we're not going to be able to win anything in Chapter 19, but we'll see, I guess. And so far my theory is proven immediately right. Mary's in for the long haul. Okay, Mary. Sally might be the end of her. Oh, well, Mary's able to he heal herself, so that's helpful. She's going to win, I guess. So I guess Mary just by herself is good. She is the only orange two on the team. Haven't gotten to leveling the others up yet. I've been working on getting everyone to red rank and it certainly takes a long time. And most of it is just you stockpiling um, badges because while I'm upgrading them, I also have to get ready for the new characters that come out because I'm trying to keep up with them. I think it's more important to level up the brand new characters than to do the old ones. Um, so it's a very long process. And there's a lot of different badges you need. Some of them I have quite a lot of, and others I have like none of. So I usually just end up like working on one for a while. And then by the time I get that one up, then the other one's out, and then I fill that one up. And even the ones that I've had for a long time, like by this point, like I've gone through a, a large majority of it. But yeah, um, it takes a very long time. I would imagine almost nobody else does this to their team. It's pretty useless to rank up a character you never use. I mean, it's interesting for these team showcases, but it takes so long, and it's probably not even going to be point. It's not going to even matter by the time I finish it. Like, I probably won't even be making team videos. I'm pretty sure I just played this level, but let's just do it again, I guess. Um, this is probably my laziest um, team video ever, I guess. I was trying to look for one that wasn't a named team. And I had to scroll for a while before I found this one. And by the time I got to it, I was kind of just like, you know what? I think that's good enough. I mean, it's an interesting concept, but there's not a lot to talk about. We can't get past chapter 18. I guess we can go back to chapter 17 and see what's up. It's funny, some of the badges in chapter 17 and chapter 18, I have very little of. Which is the ones that I do these team videos on so often, but to be fair, I don't play the same levels twice, so I'm only going to be uh, uh, getting a chance to get the badges like once every, uh, once every video. I really like that I was able to include Mary on this one, as well as like Eve I don't get to bring in too often. Um, Peter and not really either. Surprisingly, I brought Cheshire, Cheshire into a lot, I feel like. And that might not even be true. Maybe he just stands out in my memory. Um, and Syndrome, I don't bring in all that often, but at recent times, I brought him in for the uh, Pixar Villains team, and then I guess he was also on the Incredibles team. 
Which I might, I guess, do an updated version of. I don't know if Syndrome would be on that. Because it'd probably be trying to do like a Incredibles 2 team. Which would not include Syndrome at all. But then the, it begs the question, which Incredibles do I leave out? Including Frozone. Because we've got the five Incredibles as it is. If we're including the two newest ones, which are the Underminer and Void, then we have to leave out uh, two characters, including one of the main family members, potentially even two, or leaving out Frozone. And Frozone definitely had a smaller part in the sequel, so it might le lend to not including him, but also... Um, it would be nice to not like have like all the like it kind of mixes it up a little bit all the costumes look the same a little bit visually distinct i guess i'd have to leave out mr incredible anyway so that would be one of the incredibles characters i could leave out but i don't know who else i'd leave out maybe well i mean it'd be cool if i could get elastigirl's costume by that time but that's never gonna happen I open so many cosmetic crates and I'm not, and, and you just don't get it. You just don't. Um, but I mean, that would be pretty perfect if I was able to unlock that for the Incredibles 2 team. And then, who else do I leave out? I suppose Violet and Dash didn't have that much of a role. I feel like you probably have to include Jack Jack. He was pretty important. I mean, if you're doing a strictly hero-based team, you would just include Void, but then it's kind of just the Incredibles team without Mr. Incredible, you know? So, um, I'm done with this team. <laughs> I, I didn't talk about it at all. I don't care. Here they all are. I could seriously use some suggestions at this point. Like I said, I had to look for a while for this flying team. Um, I've been at a, a bit of a loss for team ideas recently so it might be helpful to remind me of some things. I suppose I could always do some sequels and stuff like another villains team or another animal team uh, but those are almost as basic as this flying team so I, I thought about another weapon team too um, so I could do that as well because I did like the sword team I could definitely do another one. Let me know. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon.